Hi, this is Thomas LaFoe from the Instructional Media Center. This tutorial will cover creating a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2007. A mail merge pulls information from spreadsheet programs like Microsoft Excel and database programs like Microsoft Access. Information in these programs should be stored in separate columns or fields according to categories like first and last name, address, phone numbers, things like that. This allows Word to read the information and then place it where you need it in the document. In this example, we will use a mail merge to create a form letter. You can see here on the screen I have my form letter typed up and I'm ready to insert my merge fields. To start the mail merge, move up to the Mailings tab and select Start Mail Merge. From this tab we've got, or from this menu, we've got several options here. And I'm going to choose Letters. Now from this point you just move across the ribbon from left to right. I can move now to select recipients. And I'm going to use an existing list that I've created in Excel. Select existing list and then locate your list. This is it here and I will click open. Now you have the option to select which sheet that contains your information. And in this case, I want sheet 1, which is where I have my names and addresses. And in that spreadsheet, I do have a first row that contains column headers, such as first name, last name, address, things like that. So I want to leave that checked and then click OK. Now you'll notice Edit Recipient List lights up. I can click on that. And this shows me a preview of what's inside that spreadsheet. You'll notice across the top, these are the headers that I had in Microsoft Excel. It reads those, so I have a last name column, first name column, address, etc. I can also use this to select recipients that I want to send to and that I don't want to send to. In this case, I have two that are missing information that I can see here. So I'm going to uncheck those, so those will not be included in my results. I can click OK. And now I'm ready to start inserting my fields. At the top, you have some of the most common fields that you'll be using. Here I'm going to do an address block. This gives me the option to format this address block. You can scroll through and see how each of your contacts will be listed. Click OK. And then on another line, I'm going to insert my greeting line. Again, it allows you to format this greeting line in any way that you see fit, whatever matches your type of form letter. You can scroll through and see how that's formatted for each one, and then click OK. Now these are some of the more common ones that you'll use in form letters, just things like address blocks and greeting lines. But you can also use this to add a first name here. So after my greeting line, if I wanted to start this sentence with their first name, I could go to Insert Mail Merge field and choose the first name. Now you would format this just like you would treat it um, like their first name. So I could do first name, comma, and would. Now after I've created this, I can click Preview Results. And you can see here that now my address block, my greeting line, and also this first name field are all filled in. I can use the little arrows here at the top to scroll through and see how that affects each one of these. And if I need to go back and make some formatting changes, I can turn off this preview results. And this is where I could delete this if I decided I didn't want that. And at the end, you've got this finish group and this will allow you to finish the merge. There are two ways to do this. You can either print this document directly from here and that will send it straight to your printer and it sends a new print job for each form letter. So that will, if you have a lot of form letters, that may not be the best way to go. If you choose on Edit Individual Documents, this will then let you open up a new document with each form letter on a different page. So now you can see if I scroll through each page is its own form letter, and I can edit these in any way that I see fit. And that is essentially creating 
a form letter using mail merge in Microsoft Word 2007. Something else that I do want to show you is creating labels. So we have an option here. I'm going to create a new document. And what I want to do here is go to my Mailings tab, choose Start Mail Merge, and then choose Labels. This then brings up the Label Options dialog box that then allows you to choose who made your labels that you're printing on. You can also choose the number here. When you're ready to create this document, go ahead and click OK. And this gives you a document with the correct formatting for the label sheet that you specified. If you do not see these lines, which is sometimes a problem in 2007, if you click on your Layout tab here at the top in our Table Tools, this is, create, this is treated just like a table, like any other table in Word. And look over here on the left-hand side where you then have View Grid Lines. This will turn the grid lines on and off in Word. And it really does help when working with these label sheets to see where these different labels are. I'm going to click back to the Mailings tab, select my recipients, and click Open. Click OK to select the first sheet. <clears throat> And now I'm ready to insert my fields. Notice that it puts this next record in each one. This tells the mail merge that for each new cell we want the same form fields or the same merge fields, but we just want it to move on to the next entry. So for these labels I'm just going to start with an address block. Click OK. And now something that's very helpful in creating these labels, instead of having to put that address block in each one of these boxes, I can choose Update Labels. And what that will do is then add that address block in each of these labels, including the next record field. Now if I preview the results, you can see that it actually moves through my mail merge and sets those up correctly. In this case, if you finish this merge, it may be fine just to do print documents, or you can do edit individual documents. This again is another good idea, because if you have any mistakes, and here's an example here, this used some of the ones that didn't have an address here, I can see that I need to add Columbus, Mississippi to this one. So here I can just copy this. and paste that here in this cell. This allows you to edit each of these documents or each of these labels and then print those out when you're ready. This concludes the tutorial on mail merging. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My email address is tlafo at library.msstate.edu and my phone number is 662-325-6781.